Welcome back everyone. This is Ida with Created to Create. Um, in the previous video, we constructed the box for the Santa mailbox. So this is part two. And um, I forgot to mention, or I'm not sure if I forgot to mention it or not. But in the description box, you guys, it's going to be the link to purchase this um, SVG file. And um, and I'm building it along with you because as I'm building, I can see if something uh, needs to be corrected. As, as And as I'm going through this process, I am going back and tweaking and everything. So when you all get it, it's, you know, as close to perfect as it can be. But, you know, um, even machines aren't perfect because they're programmed by humans. So it's going to be as close to perfect as I can design it. Um, but as you can see, as I'm putting it together, it, it's, it's looking pretty good. So our next step is going to be to build the lid, the dome lid that goes on top of the Santa mailbox, which is this one with the slot in it. Um, there's the inside. Now, uh, you can cover this because I do have the overlay separate on another file. And you, all you have to do is cut out double. That way you can adhere one on the inside and one on the outside. So we're going to put this lid together. Now the lid, as you can see, has score lines on either end. And we're going to bend there. But before I do that, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and bend it there. But then I'm going to do something uh, different. So let's go ahead and, and fold in the score lines. Burnish them. And we do need to cut out notches in these. Now, I could have programmed the, the software to cut out the notches on the design. But I feel like uh, th this is something you can do with a pair of scissors and avoid the wear and tear on your blades uh, for your machine. So this needs to be uh, curved because this is, we want to train the paper to do this, to, cur to curve. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, there's different tools that you can use. Some people use bone folders. There's this, there's this one that you can also use and to curve paper. And um, kind of breaks up the fiber some, guys. And you can, you know, curl it. Um, this is like one of my recent tools, but I'm not sure I'm quite getting the hang of it. But, or you can use... Some people use a bone folder and just kind of um, pull it through like you would scissors, like when you're curling ribbon. Some people do that. Or you can use a round cylinder and just kind of curve it around um, the round cylinder, which is what I'm going to do because I want to make sure that the, especially the slot right here, it curls around so it won't uh, warp or buckle or look funny when it's on my um, project. So I'm just kind of training it to curl. So it'll naturally curl. So there it is. And it doesn't matter if you have a few cracks and stuff in your paper because we do have an overlay that's going to go on this. Now after I train my paper, here's where I'm going to go in with um, let me get this wrinkle out. And that looks better. This is where I'm going to go in, and with my scissors, I'm going to snip. Here's the uh, the score line. You can see the score line, so you'll know where to stop. So what you're going to do is you're going to snip just little triangles all the way to the end of this little strip. And what that does, it gives the uh, paper enough space for these corners to curl into each other to give the paper um, that round dome shape. So you have to have these notches because if you don't, then your paper is going to just kind of crinkle into itself and you don't, and it's going to look messy. So you don't want that all. And it, I'm not even giving a measurement. You guys, you can see that I'm just leaving just a little gap in between and then I'm snipping it. There's one already done. Now let's turn it to the other side and repeat the same thing. I'm just going to snip all the way to the, almost right before I get to the score line. But it's almost to the score line. And I'm just going to snip these little triangles out. 
and it doesn't take a long time but see if I was to get program these little notches into the uh, into the design the SPG file this would put a lot of wear and tear on your blade and we all know that those blades are not cheap so um, you know this really saves on that that's why I didn't put like the tray at the bottom you know I felt like anybody can cut a rectangle with our cutters you know there's different things that um, that you don't really have to use your silhouette for and I'm gonna put one more in here this had to be a smaller one but nonetheless let me move that out of the way and I think that I want to put at least a little one in here nothing crazy okay now what we're gonna do is you're gonna get your double-sided paper uh, tape again not paper tape your double-sided tape and you're gonna add the tape right up against the score line and unless you're gonna use glue then of course you would do the glue there's on that side now I'm gonna turn it to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna add that double-sided tape I don't like this tape for nothing I have, to, I have score tape but it's wider and um, so it's too wide for this on this you could probably you could probably get away with using a quarter of an inch um, score tape you guys but I'm doing it with uh, this so on in, in this I forgot to mention on this particular file you get all the different files that you need on this page or this mat you're gonna get this piece that has the slot in it you're going to have uh, two of these dome shaped ones and you're going to get this piece right here and this is the tray the little hood that that's in the window in front of the mailbox and then these little uh, dome pieces as well like half circles uh, go to the this piece guys so this is going to be the little hood and we're going to set that aside for now because we're going to work on the lid so and you only need to cut out one of these and this does have an overlay that goes to it so this one will probably say uh santa mailbox lid and then the other part that is the oh the the pieces that go over it is going to be santa mailbox lid overlay so that's how you can tell if they don't have the score lines on them it's because they are the overlays so we're going to pull the, the carrier off and this is going to be real simple guys you're going to see i need another piece of tape there because see how that is right there it kind of uh, was bubbled and i'm going to add another little extra piece right there there okay Make sure your ends are not sticking out at the ends. Okay, to put this together, I'm going to start from the front back. And all you're going to do, this is so simple, guys. Seriously. You're going to line up this corner with the edge of your lid right up right there. And then you're going to see that when you start putting this in place, now i got to turn it this way. You're, you're going to want to be lining up to the edge of your uh, dome piece see how as I'm going as I'm going along I'm curving it to take the shape uh, it's coming undone over here make sure your pieces don't come undone this these will actually because we curve the paper will start to take the shape of the lid see how easy that goes together you guys and I'm just Staying around, I'm writing that edge. See how nice and neat that is? And because you have the notches in your paper, it's just conforming, conforming to the shape of, of the lid. Look at that. Perfect. It's perfect. Now there's the inside. You can go ahead and kind of burnish the inside uh, if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And uh, when you put your, your overlay inside of here, guys, that will cover all that. So I'm probably going to do that. In this box, I'm going to probably do the inside and the outside uh, on my project. So now I'm going to take off the tape on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing. Because I started this one on this side, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Because I want to make sure everything lines up. So I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to make sure this is lined up perfectly 
that looks good and um, I'm just going to start to curve I kind of want to tend to pull this towards me I'm going to start curving the lid and making sure that everything see how it's right along that edge that's what you want and this will just start to do its own thing after you've already done one this really just takes the shape of your lid and there it is now I'm just uh, making sure I'm gonna burnish and make sure that the pieces are nice and adhered and um, that is how simple that is how simple the lid is now your lid should be the same size as your box these two pieces should be the same size size and these are the same but you can see like a curvature curvature on there where it's not um you know that it's a little curved but it should be the exact same size because we don't want it to go over the mailbox we want it to sit right on top and the way we're going to get it to do that you guys is i'm going to show you right now but this is it this is the lid that's how you make the lid and i actually can see right here i was a little off see that you want to try to avoid that it still won't look bad it still will look good i can go back and trim that if i wanted to but when you see how this is perfect right here all this that's the way you want it and I should have paid a little bit more attention but I'm not gonna rip it because I don't want to rip my um, my paper and then it won't be any good I'd rather deal with that and trim it than to try and cut it and it looks I mean take it apart and it'll look worse now that little hood piece I'm gonna we're gonna put that that hood piece you put it together pretty much the same way so I'm gonna move the lid back and we're gonna put the, the little hood together it already has the score marks so all we have to do is um, fold in the score marks on the side and we're gonna do the same thing now this one we're gonna fold to the back so the two short flaps go in this one goes to the back because this piece this one that you folded back is glued. You're gonna glue that inside your lid. And see, there it is. You're gonna glue that in your lid because that's gonna form the little hood. That's how you're gonna attach the hood. So this one goes to the back, these, these go to the front. And again, we want to curve this because this is going to be like a little dome. And because this is really small, I'm going to use this tool. And I'm curving it in. I'm going to use this instead. So I'm just going to curve it and give it that dome effect. Now, you, if you have like a smaller dowel rod or something, you can, here, here's my liquid pearls. You can use that to curve it because you do want it to curve. And we do have an overlay for this. Now you're gonna take the the little um, the little uh, where it scored that little edge, and we're gonna do the same, guys. We're gonna put those little V cuts into it. I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. They're still attached there. I gotta pull them off, but yeah, you saw that one there. And you're gonna cut just little notches all the way to the end. You're going to do the same on the other side, and this is going to help it, uh, like we did the, the dome lid. It's going to curve into itself, uh, the points, and it, they'll have plenty of room where it's not bunched up and ruin your project. And I hope that I'm explaining it well. I hope that I'm staying in frame, because I'm always guilty of that. Now... The only thing that I didn't do here and I should have done, let me, I, I usually do that with uh, glue, um, but I'm just going to try with the tape, you guys. I'm going to use this little tape right here and let's see if I can get it done. You're going to add whether it be glue or double-sided tape to that little piece on either end, right below the score mark, right up, but up, right up against that score mark. And, um... Let's recurve it. Let's retrain it to curve. If I had a pencil or something, it might be better because this little hood piece is so small. 
it's really small but you do want it to be nice and curved yes okay so now what we're going to do remember this is going to go this piece is going to slide into that slot so what we're going to do guys we're going to take the tape off of this and you can take the tape off of the other end that's that way it's not in your way or bothering you and all you're going to do we're going to do the same thing we're going to line this up actually you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to turn these in guys see how it's curved already and see how the points all close up when you close it so if you want to do this with glue, hot glue or anything, that all, that's all you have to do. And we're going to line this up. Let me see. In the corner. Oh, come on, come on. Make sure it's nice and curved. That's all we're going to do, guys. We closed it up like a little tu uh, tube. But you see this sticking out? That's my fault. See the way I lined it up there? But that's not a problem, you guys. Because that really doesn't look bad. And all I got to do is... And it's so minute that I can just take my scissors and just snip it off. That's all I have to do. There. That's one side. Now let's do the other. All we're going to do is we're going to turn them in into like a Tootsie Roll half a roll of Tootsie Roll and we're going to add this little piece like we did the other I can't see with the phone right in my face let me see And the little hangover that we have from the uh, notches, we're just going to cut those. And that is all there is to the hood on here. I don't want to cut too much because I can't. The lighting, it's really early here, you guys. But that's when I like to get my work done early in the morning. So there's the little hood, you guys, that goes on the on the mailbox. So when we add this here... We bend this back. You're going to add, whether it be glue, hot glue, uh, whatever you use, and that's going to go here. And that's going to be the hood on your mailbox. But you're not going to adhere this. Until, first, you have to put your overlays on it. So at this point, keep these two separate until we do the overlay. So um, I just wanted kind of to walk you through this. Also, another thing, I'm going to show you how we're going to get that lid to sit right inside of uh, the mailbox and the the way we do that you guys is by putting this little strip all the way around the perimeter inside the mailbox so that's what we're going to do now and it's going to be hard to see because I'm going to do it in the same color in the blue but I'm just going to cut with my uh, pieces that I had left over because I'll show you what pieces you have left over from that the pieces that we have left over You get a piece like this left over, and from this piece, right here on this long piece right here, we're going to cut an inch, I'm going to say about an inch strip. Hold on, let me, let me make sure before I give you that measurement. I think it's an inch. Yeah, it's an inch. We're going to cut a strip that is one inch wide by the whole length of the paper so there's one and then with this little section see we cut off that piece came off of here so at this other little piece we're going to cut that again another little one inch strip and because you don't need two whole ones okay i have my cutter right down here so there's a little short piece that's what we're going to use to put inside the perimeter of the mailbox. Now, I haven't put my paper inside my mailbox, but I think it'll still be okay. We'll do it right now. So this is what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to have to lift you up some so you can see inside the mailbox. 
and we're going to get the longer piece and we're just going to slip it right inside the mailbox at a corner. Um, just bend this guys anywhere. It doesn't matter where, like an inch in or, or whatever. I'm just going to bend. I'm not even going to take a measurement. I'm just going to bend. So that's going to give me, I'm going to butt this up right on the inside corner of this because this is where this piece, piece is going to go and it is going to stick up like that guys it's not going to go all the way inside but I want to make sure that when I put this in here that the corners see how I'm bending that right there to find my next fold because I want it to go all the way to the corner I don't want there to be see when I put this back in here see my score marks my folds, they go from corner to corner, and that's what you want. You don't want it to be pulled away from the corner. You want it to be right into that corner, and you're going to do that all the way around. You're going to hold on to this, find your, your uh, mark right here where your, your crease needs to be, and that's where you're going to crease it. And that's how I do it. Just by putting it inside the box, I can find that and make sure this is lined up on either side, and I know that my crease is straight so this only completes part of the mailbox the one long strip that's why we need that other little piece but let's glue this one in place and then we'll do the other one now when you put glue on this piece guys you only want to do it on a portion on not even half maybe about a quarter of an inch make sure you get the corners um, all the way to the end yes right here and we're going to glue this in place see how I didn't put anything on the top because this is going to stick out of the box and we're going to put it back in place I hope that you can see what I'm doing but I'm just going to kind of put it back in place and I'm going to hold it there and glue it start gluing it down where it, there's a little lip and you can more or less tell if it's even, like it's not a big deal. Let me put this in here. And you want it to be about even, to stick out the same amount, just about all the way around. See how it's sticking out? And that's what you want. And make sure that's adhered down. Yeah, that looks pretty good. See how this piece doesn't have it, but this one does? We still got to fill in that piece, guys. But the one strip almost goes all the way around, and it, see how it's sticking up? About the same amount. i clean that glue off. I don't want the lid to catch there. So when we put our lid on here, it's going to sit right on top of that. Like I can feel where this is kind of sticking on my glass, because one of these has tape that overhung. Okay, let's do this one last little piece, you guys. So we're going to adhere this here. And I'm just kind of going to eyeball it, guys, because I want these two pieces to over... I don't want it to be like this. I want them to overlap. So I know that I need to fold it. Just by what I did there, I know about how far I need to fold it. So there's my crease. And that little crease that I put in there is going to sit here. And this is going to go here. And then this little piece right here uh, you can either cut it or you can leave it that long it's totally up to you I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna cut it back here no I'm not gonna cut it I'm gonna leave it I don't like where you can see this see that little space where they connect but I think that's a cleaner look because my strip isn't long enough, you guys. I don't even think, let me see, 4, 8, 9, 10, yeah. Not even a 12-inch long paper would be long enough. You would still have to paper piece. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue again to this um, bottom portion. Make sure to get it in the corner all the way here. Now I know this is going to be glued up here somewhere because this is going to sit right in there and so is a little piece here. So I'm going to add glue to the tops of those because they're going to be overlaid on top of the inside. So I'm just going to slide this in place. 
line them up make sure everything lines up I'm making sure everything lines up right here you guys you don't want one to be sticking out more than the other and the same thing here in the back you want them to line up I have glue on my finger you want them to line up you want everything to line up and you're just gonna glue it in place that's it there there's our little lip our perimeter but I always the one that doesn't have the seam that's always the front of my box that's me personally so now let's see if the lid fits the lid should fit guys but it's going to fit snug it's going to be snug because you don't want your lid to be falling off so you're going to have to because we added that little piece we're going to have to work with it a little bit and let's see there's like an overhang right here i'm going to cut this overhang on mine it, de it depends on how you put it together if you have it or not you might not you might have done a better job than I did, but I have it there and I'm going to trim it off. And it was just, but see how this wants to go uh, curve like that. And the reason that does that is because, you know, we curve the paper and sometimes we don't train it completely. But because it domes out like this, it kind of makes your lid smaller. It's not that it doesn't fit. It's that it's curved. So we need to, once we put it on the box, we're going to train it to straighten up that's why we put that inner lip on this and let's see let's see if I can get there it is there's the mailbox you guys and remember you are going to put an overlay on here so even if yours does bows right here like mine does by the time you put your overlay and you put your trim on it you're not even going to see that but see how perfect the lid fit now right here it's up to you if you want to put a hinge and what I mean by a hinge let me see if I have a little scrap of paper right here yeah I have a little scrap right here that I can use um, and it's not going to be the right length or anything guys because I just want to show you what I mean by a hinge is you get like a little one inch piece of paper you score it down the middle I'm not going to score this I'm just going to fold it but you would normally score it and what you do is you attach you attach one piece to your lid and one piece to your box so what that means is when you open your lid the lid to your uh, mailbox like I would put this probably on the inside of the mailbox and this piece would probably go on the outside of the mailbox before I put my overlay so when I open my lid it would be attached to my mailbox it would it wouldn't fall off because it would have the 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 and you would do it the whole length of the mailbox it would be attached to here guys um but i'm not going to do that on mine but you can on yours just kind of giving you an idea but just because we put that lit lip on here it helps the box the lid to go on there snug and to stay put and uh, like I said, once you put the overlay and everything, this gap, you're not going to see that. But you are uh, going to want to train it to stay uh, curved in. And usually I'll go in and, and start doing this before I put my overlay because I don't want to put the cracks or anything on my overlay. And kind of see how that kind of straightened it out some. So that's what you want to do, guys. <clears throat> And remember, the slot goes to the front of the mailbox. Let me put it in here. Let's see if that looks a little bit better by, by straightening it out or trying to. And this, like I said, it does fit snug, but it's supposed to see that's a little bit better. I still got a little bit here that I need to work with. But sometimes once you put the overlay in here, guys, it kind of straightens things out. So there's the mailbox, you guys. There's most of the mailbox. Now, I'm not going to put the hood in it, but normally the hood would go here. But the hood goes in after you've done the overlays. Because you don't want uh, you don't want to put your overlays and then put your hood in <coughs> after. Well, you can. Well, I'm sorry. You can't put the hood in until you put the overlay first. Because of this little slot here. You wouldn't be able to do it so you have to put your overlay and then you would adhere the the little um the little hood on it 
and this hood would look the hood would look like that you guys there's a side profile of it so anyway that's how simple the little hood was to put together and that's how simple the lid was to put together and the next part guys we're going to do hopefully the overlays to everything uh, so stay tuned you guys for part three and I hope that I'm making this easy for you because a lot of times we need a visual um, you know it has to be visual some of us are visual learners and um, and I think that because if I didn't do it this way and explain to you where this strip came because it's not in the file or where the tray on the bottom came you will kind of be lost you would feel like it was incomplete but there's a reason why that's not there because it all depends on how you put your box together how big the perimeter is in here for you to do your tray and to do this little piece plus to save wear and tear on your blade as well because these are str just little rectangles that we cut with our trim paper trimmer. We don't need to wear out our blade. Anyway, the link to this mailbox is going to be in the description box. I hope that this explained it well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or rewatch that video over and over again. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And if I can help you with that, I will. Thanks for watching, you guys. And come back for part three. Bye.